So, so in order to find the principal axes m and n, um, we need to take a look at we're going to look at an arbitrary cross section. Okay, we're going to define that the angle between our y and z axes to our two principal axes m and n can be defined by some angle theta. Okay, so in order to calculate the uh, the values of m and n, uh, we can use trig we can use trig identity. So we know that m we can set it being equal to y times cosine of theta. Right, um, will give us the projection of y onto m and z sine of theta. give us the projection of z onto m. Um, and we can do the same, very similar thing for um, for n, where we'd have negative y sine of theta, because it's going along the negative n-axis, and z cosine of theta. So we could rewrite these in, in term, these two equations in terms of a matrix. We can say m, n would be equal to cosine theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cosine theta, and we have y and we have z. Okay. So, um, so using our new coordinate system, um, we can define our moment of inertia uh, along the m and and then our our mixed moment of inertia IMN using the following definitions. Okay, so if we plug in our equations here for M and N into these equations, and we use the trig, the trig, these following trig identities. Okay, um, so these are like half angle, half angle, and um, and uh, half angle and squared formulas. Um, then these what we end up getting is we get these three equations here for our polar mo our moment of inertia about the m axis, the n axis, and um, the mixed moment of inertia about m and n. Okay, so we know that for the m and n axes, we define that um, that the mixed moment of inertia for our principal axes will be zero. So, if we do, if we know that we can set equation three c, we can set it equal to zero, all right? And we can solve for um, the angle, all right? So we're interested in finding what is the angle theta p, all right? So if we rearrange this equation here, we will end up getting theta p is going to be equal to um, one half times the inverse tangent of 2iyz over iz minus iy. Okay. So, so in conclusion, in order to find where your principal axes m and n are equal to, you need to first find iyz, iz, and iy. And once you have these three, terms, you can then plug them in to find your principal axis theta p, which would give you the angle relative from the yz coordinate system to the m and n principal axes.